I'm Nick Berthold. I'm the head of post-production for Fine Brothers Entertainment. Fine Brothers is a digital media studio. Um, we produce content for primarily the web, uh, mostly YouTube. We also do shows for TV and various SVOD platforms. We create primarily unscripted shows. We'll also do sketch comedy shows, competition-based shows as well. Pretty much whatever we want to make, we can make because we're our own studio. Fine Brothers Entertainment got started about 10 years ago. Uh, Rafi and Benny Fine, uh, who are digital content creators, wanted to make content kind of under their own terms and uh, started just putting stuff out there on the web and it, it got very popular and eventually they got such an audience that they were able to launch their own YouTube channel and that has pretty much grown the company to where it is today. I was hired by Fine Brothers Entertainment three years ago as the uh, post supervisor. At the time, the company only had about 14 employees and Post was just a small little department. In the past few years, we've been able to grow it into an entire floor of the building. We have almost 24 team members in Post right now and we're cutting over 15 uh, original shows for the web. I think the biggest changes over the last three years in the way that we produce content is as the internet continues to speed up and we have to kind of keep up with our audience, um, audience engagement and kind of attention spans are shortening and we find that we have to get content online faster and faster uh, every year. So we looked at the ways that we shoot content and the way that we actually capture the shows that we're uh, creating. So we started getting really efficient with the way that we were shooting our material. We started utilizing some of the tools that were being released in the Adobe platform at the time, getting really smart about how we ingested media and we organized clips using tools like the master clip effects and the color correction tools in the Lumetri color panel and uh, really engaging and, and taking advantage of the dynamic linking uh, that After Effects and Adobe Premiere were offering at the time. So one of the advantages of team projects is we're now able to have the assistant editor and the editor working in the project collaboratively at the same time. It used to take us a whole day to get an assembly done with the string out, and now we're able to have the editor working side by side with the AE as they're building those string outs. So the AE builds their string out, they kick that right over to the editor, they start editing, and it's really increased our workflow in a way that we're able to do an entire edit on the same day as the shoot. So about a year ago, we were turning around a video in about four and a half days. Because of the efficiencies that we found and, and harnessing the power of these tools, we've now gotten to a place where we can actually release a video in about two and a half days. We have 15 original series that we produce every single week for the web. That's around 120 minutes of content. And what's important to note is that this is produced content. This isn't just setting a camera and having it roll on something or you know, having a long clip of someone talking. This is like a TV show that we're producing two hours of every single week. It's like editing a feature film in one week, and we're doing that week after week after week. What we're pursuing next is just trying to scale that amount of content, and we're trying to do it in a smart way. Rather than just expanding our team and hiring a bunch of more people and, and trying to uh, tackle scaling that way, we're trying to get smarter with our workflows and find more efficiencies to be able to produce more content faster with the same amount of resources that we have in-house right now. Our audience is everything to us at FBE. They are the ones that are watching our content every day, and they're even the ones who are suggesting what we're going to make next. A big part of our content on YouTube is audience comments, and they'll go through and they'll say, hey, we want you to react to this next, or we want you to react to that next, and we actually look at that and we decide, largely based on those comments, what kind of content we'll be producing. We found ourselves in a model now where we can get these audience suggestions and we can build an episode, shoot it, edit it, and release it in just a few days. And then to see the audience's reaction to that content so instantaneously, it's really exciting for us because we get to go home at the end of the week feeling really good about what we've done and feel like we've actually accomplished something really cool.